actually got my drawers, my drawers, that is not right. Back to life, back to reality. Hi, beauties and girls, we are back with another video. Yes, and this is an amazing one. This is a great one. Y'all guessed it on Snapchat and Twitter. Yes, yes, yes. I've been using Ebates for a while, like well over a year, and I wish Ebates was in effect when I was in college, seriously, because it saves you money. You get codes for like more free stuff. I use it on Ulta Sephora all the time as in addition to Tarte. There's so many different stores. They have over 2,000 stores and it's pretty amazing. It is so awesome that I get a check every quarter based upon cash back that I get. Like it sounds like it's gimmicky, but y'all it's not gimmicky at all. When like with my subscription boxes that I talk about, my beauty subscription boxes, and I also have Ebates. I had a link in there for well over a year. So when Ebates reached out to me, I was like, it ain't nothing but a thing because I already love you guys. So let me just share the love. And because they love y'all so much, yes, two winners will win a hundred dollar gift certificate. Oh, not just like any gift certificate it's a gift card it's a hundred dollars you guys and we are talking about back to college today yeah. starts back to campus now one of the great ways to start off a new year in your dorm room is to decorate your room you're going to be able to take advantage of some stores like overstock.com which is amazing that dresser back there i don't know if y'all can see that maybe i'll do a cutaway but the dresser right back there, huh? I wish I had it in my dorm room. It is so amazing. I actually store all of my, uh, the kids clothes in there, but it is so good. I got that from overstock.com at an amazing, great price. It's super duper sturdy. And y'all, I mean, I could have gone to Ikea, but overstock is the way to go when it comes to furniture. And I've gotten some clothes on overstock. So head on over there if you and check overstock out because a lot of times, their stuff is way more discounted and it's the same things that you can get from other stores in terms of furniture. Their furniture and deco home, like home decorating your room is so reasonable. Like bread spreads like this that I have. So my best spreads, most of the time I get them from Macy's.com and it is on the list. Yes, uh, it is on eBay. So make sure you look down in the description box it's going to let you know all of the stores not all of the stores but you'll be able to see some of them stores like jane.com overstock.com airy by american eagle new balance get you some new shoes you're going to be running the class i'm just saying those are some stores that's going to actually have like a, like specials in terms of cash back but I'm also going to list some other dates down below that you can take advantage of. But back to campus, you definitely want to take it advantage of because we are going to be talking about how to be a good roommate. So I'm going to list everything down below. Don't forget to enter the giveaway. And they actually gave me a link down below that you guys can click on to sign up. And also you get a bonus, a $10 bonus by just signing up. Yes, I'm so excited, you guys. Let's just jump right into this video because we are talking about a lot of stuff. Get your snack. This is not going to be a short video. Uni, we talking about being a good roommate. So we need some good tips in our life. If you want to hear about my story about the roommate from Hades and some tips and tricks on how to be a good roommate, then keep watching. So I have Twitter over here. If y'all see some boxes, I am trying new makeup too. So... Yeah, I'm going to list everything down below. I'm going to try to re redo the look that you guys loved in my How to Survive Uni and the giveaway, the BTS giveaway, which is now closed, but this one is open. So make sure you check out down below how to enter. So I'm going to do my brows. I don't have my brow, brow stylist, um, my brow stylist definer, brow definer by L'Oreal. I am going to try to incorporate some drugstore. So just look down in the description box for what I'm using on my face. I am going to Twitter and let's talk about some tips before we go into some tips that I have. So Joe underscore V80 says is to set your ground rules early and for studying quiet times, in terms of studying quiet times, cleaning, 
guessed. And yes, you did guess who I was partnering up with, which is Ebates for this video. So two of you all, I'm so excited because two of you all are gonna go home with a $100 Visa gift card from Ebates. Thank you, Ebates. Y'all know I, I decorated my room. I love overstock.com and I love Macy's. So they're going to have some specials that we'll talk about um, that I probably talked about already. Uh, just make sure you check out the description box because that's going to have a lot of the information. But definitely, uh, you know, those will be pointing talk talks that we have. And if you have any questions, make sure you leave them down in the comments. On Twitter, uh, yes, I feel like setting the ground rules first is great. Now, the question is, because you can set ground rules, but you don't want to come across like a mom or, you know, you don't try to be the the room the roomy police, okay? Because that's not going to work. This is not your sister or brother, like I said, in How to Survive Uni. Maybe I'll share a little bit of my story time in here about my roommate. Remember I told y'all that I first semester roommate? I had two amazing roommates, Andrea being one and Jamie being another. Now, both of them were in my wedding. That's how awesome these girls are. Shout out to both of y'all. Yeah, in terms of being a great roommate, you definitely want to set the ground rules. But the question is, most of the time, it's how to break those things. So I'm going to give you some tips on how to break it, how to I like break the ice on move-in day. Because that's really, it, it, everybody's nervous. You don't know how you're going to react to each other. But you want to come across and have a great impression, Okay. So the first thing to do, I, I just think that it's awesome to do. If they have a, like a campus visit, go to your campus visit. Do not skip the campus visit because I feel like when you have been in a space already, it kind of cuts a little bit of that nervousness down. You know, you, you seeing the freshman dorms and getting as much information before you go in kind of helps the shock factor you know what i'm saying you're not shocked at everything that's happening like whoa you know oh she got the bed first oh my god go in with a positive mind first of all even before you look set eyes on your new roommate go in with a positive mindset that you know you all are going to get along i i, I feel like what you set out is what you receive i would say tip number two is to go to the campus you know they do have usually have a camp to campus visit do not skip orientation guys now i did not even have that on the notes i'm just going off the top of my head but do not skip orientation you do not want to skip that you all because a lot of times you will see other freshmen that's just as nervous as you are and you get to know people already before school starts so you definitely want to like orientation is usually the first couple of days of school but you definitely if they're like sometimes they'll have like meetups or like socials before school starts to kind of keep you from being so nervous because it's a culture listen it's a culture shock, not only to your parents, especially if you're the first one to go to college, but it also is a shock to you. So doing a lot of preliminary things is going to cut down the nervousness. I'm not going to even count the tips because I'm a loose count. I know how I am. And yeah. So don't wait for your roommate to break the ice you break the ice you take the initiative and you break the ice especially if you're the first one in the room okay and this is i guess i'm just like this and my parents taught me like this bring something for your roommate like something fun something that you like maybe something that you could do that it it may not work the way that you want to, but you being generous kind of brings people's guard from here down. And maybe we can go grab a bite to eat after we after we move in. Let's go grab a bite to eat. I would love to like sit down and talk to you. 
So that is going to kind of break the ice. And be engaged with the person. When you are on, like when you're talking and everything, don't be on your phone. You know, you really want to talk to your roommate. This is like a first impression. And you know, we do first impressions even on our channels. You want to give, a, you want to make a good impression. That may be a good time when you have gone to get a bite to eat or like, you know, what are your study habits? Find out more about the person than telling everything about you because that can come across very like it's about me. I, 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 I. And who wants everybody to talk about themselves the whole time in a conversation? Nobody. I don't care if they even tell, they don't tell you. They don't want to hear everything about you. Give them time to say things about them. But you definitely want to establish that you have set some rules for yourself. Like, just don't go in and be like, oh, whatever you want. Never say that because that is usually not the case when it comes to staying with somebody. You need to be honest and it shouldn't be whatever you want. Uh, Yeah, no. Because eventually that's going to change. And they're going to be like, well, you said whatever I wanted. So you don't want to come across like that either. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so another tip is share. I would love to share like groceries. You know, maybe we can make a list together or you pick your favorites. I'll pick my favorites and, you know, come to the agreement of how it's going to happen. If they want just to eat only their food, then at least you know that up front and you won't like go grab her, their chips and then there's a big disagreement. You know, and there are going to be times when you might have food and she hasn't gotten paid yet or something hasn't happened yet. But and, you know, just make sure that it's the rule that if you would want somebody to do that to you, you know, that's how you treat other people. I guess. When you're upset about something or you don't be upset right off, by the way, ask the question, because there may have been like. Something may have been lost in translation or you don't understand. So it's better to ask and go to the person and not like, you did this or whatever. Say, you know, hey, you know, I wanted to get, can I talk to you for a second? You know, talk to the person like you want to be talked to. And this is kind of like a gray area because everybody has not been raised to address things right up front. Some people let things fester, which is th what I think my roommate did. She never told me how she felt. And if you don't tell somebody how you feel, they're going to expect or they're going to think that things are fine. And I would talk to her and let's just say her name is Judy. Okay. I spoke to Judy came in and she made it seem like everything was fine and i'm getting into my story time by the way with this one because this one is really important because once i mastered this i felt like that i had great experiences with any roommate that i had i feel like my roommate that i got after her because it was so abrupt you all that we immediately I mean, it was to the point where we actually had to go look, uh, talk to the student um, student affairs coordinator because she did not tell me anything. All of a sudden, I'm like at this meeting, didn't know why, and I'll put it like this: at the end of the meeting, even the the student affairs counselor or coordinator, he was like, shh. She's a little bit off. So this is what happened. Let me, so what happened was, was coming from, and this is going to be a long video, so I hope you got a snack, okay? I should have said that in the beginning. I'm probably going to say that in the beginning. I was coming from my class, and my professor let us out early. So I go to take my key and open the door, and literally, y'all, she almost took off my hand. She almost took out my hand trying to slam the door because I guess she heard the key and the door twisting open. And as I was opening it, she slammed the door. The door, okay? And uh, I had seen enough by opening the door what was in there, okay? Let's just say she was a daughter of Ned Stark. 
from Game of Thrones. Stark. Okay. So, yeah, we just going to say that. She slammed the door, didn't say anything. She was like, you can't come in here. I was like, okay. Okay. I'll just come back later. Mind you, this is the same girl that we went to. We went to high school together. So, I felt like, you know, we had a good rapport. So, I thought weeks had gone by and, you know, she was making it seem like everything was cool. Mind mind you, I hadn't told anybody. I hadn't told anybody that, you know, she... I didn't tell nobody on campus that she was, like, doing her due. Because, I mean, I'm like, okay, these, she's grown. This is grown folk stuff. So, I didn't, like, snitch on her or anything. So... She, I don't know, maybe she thought I did. I don't even know because she didn't talk to me. So all of a sudden, like I get an email saying that, by the way, I'm using the Yes Please palette. This is the one that I used last time and y'all really like that look. I don't, uh, should I do the same one? I don't know if I should do the same look. Let's try. I get into this meeting and he's being like a, let's call, let's call him Peter. Peter was uh, the liaison, kind of like the mediator of the conversation because obviously she was there. She looked like she wanted to rip my head off my neck, okay? She looked like Cersei from Game of Thrones, like she thought that I killed Joffrey, okay? <laughs> That's how she, she looked at me like I had just, like I was Tyrion, okay? And she was about to like go in on me. And I'm like, okay, what is going on? And she says, like, I'm dishonest. I'm a liar. I'm like, to what? Like, I don't even know what's going on right now. I don't even understand why I'm here. And she was like, you, you know, you're a liar. You know, I'm the most horrible roommate. Like, I don't want to share anything. Like, that I'm evil. And I was like, girl, I don't talk to nobody. Now, y'all, I am outspoken now, but I was very, very shy. Very shy. Especially during this time, because I, had, I still hadn't gotten to know anybody. That's why I was kind of like, I feel like the mistake that I made was I was kind of riding on the coattails of our relationship as in high school. And when you have somebody in high school, and I knew that the girl was like drama. I knew it. I knew she was drama. She was drama in high school. But because she was coming into college and we were going to the same college, I was like, Judy knows everybody and I'm not going to have to like, Judy knows everybody, you know? I'm not going to have to worry about stuff because she just she just knows everybody. I'm not, I'm, you know, she's going to introduce me to people. I'm nervous. I'm like, what is going on? Like, I haven't done anything. She's like, I'm, I'm evil. Like, I don't, um, like, we don't get along. Like, I don't, literally, she came from left field. Everything that I thought I was doing right, obviously, in her eyes, I was not. And they knew she was kind of off because they kept asking her, like, okay, so what is she doing wrong? She never could give a definite answer. Like, this is, y'all, this is a while ago, so I can't remember everything, but it was to the point where I remember her taking something that was personally mine she went into my things and she threw it at me in my face in front of this and I was like so mortified y'all I was like I didn't know how to feel I started crying because I was like I don't know where this is coming from you know I thought that we were friends and for her to like throw something at me y'all literally like I don't know if they were like angry tears or like really they were like embarrassment to their tears to be honest with you because I thought we knew each other better than that I thought that we were like friends and that we could discuss stuff so obviously we weren't and I was just glad that they saw the same thing I saw in the end <sighs> yeah they were like 
yeah, we didn't understand what happened in that meeting. Like, what threw me off is that she took a personal item, like, a she, like, went into, like, I don't know, like, okay, I don't even want to, like, I feel so uncomfortable even saying what she threw at me. Let's just say it was, it was one of my personal items. <laughs> but anyway, that's my story time, and actually, she was the reason why my social life flourished on campus because of that like whole crazy incident and she didn't even stay there after the first semester that was what was crazy i think i don't know what was going on in that room it like kind of think of it come to think of it it makes me think of was something else going on there and maybe she thought i knew but i didn't i don't know i didn't ever say anything I mean, the good thing about it is, like, it was down to the point where student affairs, like, even, they were like, you know, we don't know what just happened. I was like, I don't either. I'm so sorry. And I apologize. Like, that's the thing. Like, if you don't know how to address your roommate and they tell you they feel a certain way, don't say that they don't feel that way because obviously they do. You say, okay, so I'm really sorry that you feel that way. Like, let's fix this. Like, that is the best thing. I feel like being a great, uh, being a good roommate is about solving problems and, uh, you know, uh, maturely. Like, let's be mature about this. And if you don't know how to solve it, then you can go to student affairs. But what she should have done, okay, in retrospect, what she could have done, let's say what she could have done. What she could have done was a couple of things. She could have emailed me. Like if she was too afraid to say it in my face, which is really weird because you just knew me for the last four years at my high school and we almost had every course alike. Okay. Um, she could have done that. She could have gone to student affairs and say, listen, I have this problem. I do not know how to talk to my roommate. What are some ways to communicate? Okay. She could have emailed me. She could have written me a letter and left it and was like, listen, I don't know how I am going to do this. Like seriously, she could have done that. I don't, I just don't know. I don't know. That's, it was just really weird. She could have communicated in so many different ways. And all I'm just telling you guys is to communicate with your roommate and yes and then uh whoever wins these gift cards go and decorate your room okay decorate your dorm room decorate your if you're in high school decorate your room at home and of course yeah just have fun be a good roommate communicate and if something bothers you address it right away yeah so i'm gonna finish getting i'm gonna put on my lashes um uh, as a mascara i don't think i'm gonna wear lashes today um put on a lippy and i'll be okay back. so i zhuzh my hair up i told you i was gonna do an hbcu right now right i love this oh my goodness okay i gotta get some more let me throw some oh i gotta put some gel on you know you gotta snatch the edges i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to actually comment down below let me know like have you started university if you're a parent of a child that's starting college so let me know down in the comments what you guys think about these videos like my tips and maybe like experiences that will maybe help you all and let me know if you guys have any tips that would help anybody else if you're a parent of a college student god bless you if you are starting off hopefully this can kind of help you know like what goes on in terms of campus life to maybe prepare your you know your youngin to like the campus life yeah and let me know also if you have any experiences that you want to share definitely comment down below i know it'll help somebody don't forget to comment down below and don't forget to enter the giveaway, you guys, because it's a really, really good one. Two of you all are going to get $100 gift certificates thanks to Ebates. If you are 18 years or over, Ebates is going to be your friend. If you're a parent, 
Ebates is gonna be your friend. You're gonna get some money back and Lord knows you gonna need it with having a college student. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to enter the giveaway down below and I will see beautiful you in the next video.